girls, this is Indy and good morning to a new video. It is still Saturday. I will show you the time. Right now it's 8.41. Um, Dennis and I will go to the gym, to the coolest gym. I think it's in the Netherlands. It's called Muscle Total. So we will go there in like 20 minutes. So I will not bake anything, um, but of course I will eat something really nice because this week with the sexy summer shirt it did go very very well so today it's time for my favorite chocolate you know what it is like i have a reese's i have the kit kat salt caramel those are my favorite at the moment um yeah just wanted to let you know i will take you to the gym i will show you a few exercises i do today um just for some inspiration let's go on the table. I'll watch a little bit of Netflix and I will eat my rice cakes with some chocolate and then we're going to the gym. Let's go with me. my knuckle with me like in Miami so ready to go yay beautiful weather outside drink my alcohol so now I'm ready to work out.
So while I'm here at home today, Tuesday, rainy afternoon, I'm working on a vlog, a new vlog I'll show you. It's not that most healthy recipe I'll put on my website, but hey, never mind. It's this true waffle straw bath cake I created a little while ago. So working on that. But with that being said, I also want to share an answer of a question I get asked a lot. And the question is, Indy, did you always look like you're looking today? Like the shape you have right now, is it, was it always your shape? No, not at all. Uh, I will put in a photo of, over the years um, in the screen. And on, on the photo you see very clear that like 10 years ago, I had not the best lifestyle. I ate a lot of chocolate, cookies, granola, yogurt, stuff like that, like sure, or like products that are high in calories. Um, I did not know that at the time. Um, and I was not feeling very well at that time. I ate products what my body could not handle. So I was bloated all day. I had like stomach pains. I was feeling full, like you get the feeling like, like a heavy feeling that you took with you the whole day. And it was the most awful feeling ever. So I think that was my biggest motivation to break through the cycle and create a new lifestyle. I did not change it overnight. It took me 10 years to do that. 10 long years or it's not 10 long years, but you need to be very patient with yourself uh, when it comes to changing your diet. Don't change it like 360 degrees, take it step by step and take it easy. Um, then we have a middle picture. I hope you can, I don't know if it's still on the screen, but you can see it. In the middle picture, I was working out. Uh, so I did change from not going to the gym very often, photo one, to photo two, like exercising a lot and also eating a lot. So I do have like a thinner frame, but there were still no visible muscles. And so doing cardio, boxing, uh, group class with, is also cardio based. I did make different choices of food already, like eating less and eating more vegetables and fruits instead of cookies and chocolate. So that was for the two. I think there's like two years, three years in between those photo one, photo two, two or three years. So that took me a while. Um, and over the years, like photo two, photo three, there was like a time difference of, let's say four years, four years. And in those four years, I learned a lot. But I also did go from being a student to working as a personal trainer in a gym. So that's also something you really need to consider and take with you when you are looking at this. So please keep that in your mind. But over the years, I gained knowledge. I changed my lifestyle. So what did I do to change my shape? I did eat less, less sugary foods like chocolate, Cookies, you can name all those different cookies. Uh, if it was chocolate on it, I would love it. Uh, so that's what I like, took out. I changed my workout pattern. So a bit less cardio, more weight training. Weight training gave me a lot more progress than cardio could ever do to my body. It changed the shape, literally. It took me up seven years, but hey, it took me seven years and I never lost track of my goal. So that was also something that helped me a lot, changing the way of working out and of course making different food choices. So over the years, what my body loves, what my body hates. My body loves vegetables, loves oatmeal, loves rice. My body hates pasta, hates bread because I'm allergic to wheat, hates granola. If it's gluten-free, I can eat it. If it's made of spelt, 100% spelt, I can eat it too. So every once in a while, I love to eat like a bread or a bagel, gluten-free bagel. So those are, I think, the keys to success, the keys to change. Also prepping the food, like take time to do groceries on Sunday and prep your meals. So when you come home after work, 
Uh, you can grab a meal that's already in the fridge and it helps you so, so, so much We're not snacking on high calorie food. We just grab the meals that are already prepared. I think that's also a super important thing. So I just want to let you know like a little personal update in this video. If you have more questions for me, please let me know. Currently I'm in week two of the sexy summer shred diet. Uh, it's not really a diet. I only changed a few things. You know what I changed? I left it cashew nuts out and a peanut butter during the week and also they I still eat my chocolate treats so didn't change a lot keep doing my workouts during the week and of course on Friday this Friday I will make a new progress photo and I will share it with you girls so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I'm always willing to help you with making like your own nutrition plan or your workout plan always there to help so girls, I see you in the next vlog and enjoy today. Bye bye.